In this clip we'll review the quotient or division rule of differentiation. We'll start with the sort of abstract statement of that rule. Let's imagine you have a function f of x which equals a function g of x divided by another function of x h of x. So let that be your setup. Now I'm not going to give you the solution right away of how the quotient rule looks. I'll show you how to derive it from the product rule. So to do that we'll first restate f of x because that's just the same as g of x times h of x inverse or h of x to the negative 1. So now we have a product of two functions of x, g of x and this orange bit. So we know that if you apply the product rule what we need is g prime of x times h of x to the negative 1, that's just the orange bit, times g of x times the derivative of the orange part. So how do we calculate the derivative of h of x to the negative 1? Well we get the exponent to the front, that's negative 1, and then h of x, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent, so we have h of x to the negative 2, and we have the inner component h prime of x. So this is an application of the chain rule at the end. So let's reformulate that a little bit. The first summand is g prime of x over h of x. And then we can uh, simplify a little bit. That negative 1 will just turn that into a minus. So we have here minus g of x times h prime of x divided by h of x squared. So that's just the h of x to the negative 2 taken into the denominator. So we have two summons but with different denominators. So let's uh, bring the denominators um, onto level terms. To do that we'll have to multiply both new right and denominator of the left hand summand by h of x. So we have g prime of x times h of x divided by h of x squared. And the uh, second term will remain unchanged. So now both summons have h of x squared in the denominator and that means we can collect the two terms and what we get is g prime of x times h of x minus g of x times h prime of x divided by h x squared. Now, and if you don't want to every time go through the product rule to find out how to find the derivative of a quotient, that last line is what you can learn as the result of the quotient rule. So f prime of x equals this term which I uh, shall frame in a beautiful green. So either you learn that as being the quotient rule or you remember that if you've forgotten the quotient rule you just need to apply the product rule with a little peppering of the chain rule. So here we go with an example. So we have f of x equals 3 times e to the x minus 4 divided by 1 minus uh, the natural log of x. So this is now just some brain gymnastics. This function by itself doesn't have any particular economic meaning. We need to recognize that this top bit here, this is our g of x, the function of x in the numerator, and we have our orange function here, 1 minus log of x. So in in terms of our generic function that will be the h of x. So we know to get to the result what we need is h prime of x and g prime of x. So let's first calculate g prime of x and that is just 3 times e to the x minus 0 because that minus 4 will have a derivative of 0. Then h prime of x that will be negative 1 over x. 
Okay, so basically we now have all the terms we need. We now just need to assemble the solution. We're going straight to the green solution of using the quotient rule. So f prime of x is equal to 3 to the e x. So that is just the g prime part. And now we need h x, which is 1 minus log of x. Now we have minus, and what we now need is g of x, and that is just 3 e to the x minus 4, and we multiply this by h prime x, which is negative 1 over x. And we get to the denominator, and that is h x squared. And of course, h x is 1 minus um, ln x, so we just have 1 minus ln x, and this is squared. So once we had the solution for the quotient rule, it was just plugging in the different functions. Now I want you to test yourself. Here is a function. f of x is uh, equal to 7x plus e to the um, 7x. So 7x plus e to the 7x divided by ln Okay, I need a little break. So ln um, x to the 4 minus 2. And so now you pause the clip and test yourself. By, well, I'll take care of Nikolai. So here we are back again to solve this. Let's first make clear what we are talking about. We are having a numerator function g of x, and we have an orange uh, denominator function h of x. To apply the quotient rule, we need g prime of x, and uh, that is 7 plus 7 times e to the 7x. Okay, so you need to understand how to do that. That's an application of the chain rule. Now we also need the derivative of the denominator function. So we need h prime of x. And uh, again, you need to be familiar with the chain rule here. Um, the log is one function and x to the 4 minus 2 is the other function. So we have 4 times x to the 3. That's the inner part the derivative of the inner part and then we have 1 over the argument of the log function so that's 1 over x to the 4 minus 2 um, that's the outer part of the chain rule so with this we have all the ingredients we need we just need to assemble the quotient rule we'll state it first it's supposed to be good if you just write it down a few times so you internalize what it looks like here we go, and all we need to do now is to plug all our ingredients in. So g prime of x, so that's 7 plus 7 times e to the 7x, times h of x, which is log of x to the 4 minus 2. So what we've done so far is calculated this first part up here, g prime of x times h x, now we need minus g of x. g of x is of course just 7x plus e to the 7x. And finally to complete the numerator we need h prime of x. And we calculated that to be 1 over 4x, 4 to the x minus 2, uh, x to the 4 minus 2 times 4 times x to the 3. And the whole thing is divided by h of x squared. So we'll just copy h of x, which is the log of x to the 4 minus 2. And uh, we square the whole thing. So I hope you realize that applying the quotient rule, once you remember the quotient rule, is really not too difficult. All you need to be able is to calculate the derivatives of the individual parts.